Meghan Markle is an author. I lost a baby. There's a lot that's been lost already, and I grieve a lot. Meghan Markle has just announced some exciting news. Meghan Markle is about to be a published author. The 39-year-old Duchess of Sussex has written her first children's book titled The Bench. But why is the book receiving just as much hate as love? Because this is for commercial gain. How can she be writing a book about relationships with a father when she, in fact, herself has no relationship with her father and indeed she's destroyed Harry's relationship with his father? Is the book really hypocritical and controversial? I mean, I've lost my father. She, she didn't lose me. She's pretty much ghosted all of her family. She would have had us if she kept us. Megan's new book is aimed at breaking boundaries. But what exactly is this children's story about? It tells the story of the, quote, special bond between father and son as seen through a mother's eyes and is inspired by her husband, Prince Harry's relationship with their nearly two-year-old son, Archie. Despite the heartfelt sentiment, Megan is being attacked. Outspoken critics are calling her a hypocrite. The whole notion of Meghan Markle dishing out advice to anyone about the relationship between fathers and children is absolutely ridiculous, given the appalling relationships she and her husband have with their own fathers. And the attacks did not stop there. Yet her brazen decision to do it anyway is so sadly typical of a woman whose tendency for staggering hypocrisy is only matched by her extraordinary tone deafness. Meghan publicly denounced her own father on Oprah bitterly talking about how he betrayed her. There's a lot that's been lost already. Mm. And I grieve a lot. I mean, I've lost my father. I lost a baby. I nearly lost my name. I mean, there's the loss of identity. But Thomas Markle's side of the story is equally heartbreaking. The last time we spoke, I was laying in a hospital bed after having a heart attack. Biggest problem here is she's pretty much ghosted all of her family on her mother's side and my side. Other critics slammed Meghan over her intentions. Harry and his wife have fled Britain to earn big money in America and run a charity that seems to, well, claims to be anyway, about compassion in action. I'm not seeing much compassion in action for Meghan Markle's father or sister, for instance. Did she write the book purely for fame and money? because this is for commercial gain, and you cannot use a royal title for commercial gain. This is not being done for the Archwell Foundation, it's not being done for charity. This money's going straight into her glow mesh. Notably, Meghan used her royal title on the book, The Duchess of Sussex. This caused more upset among her critics. How the hell can Meghan, I hate royalty but call me Duchess Markle, preach about father-child relationships when she's disowned her own dad and wrecked her husband's relationship with his? Some were upset that she criticized the royal family, but is still comfortable using her royal title. But don't you think she really did have pure intentions? Meghan wrote in a statement. The bench started as a poem I wrote for my husband on Father's Day, the month after Archie was born. That poem became this story. This is your bench, where life will begin, for you and our son, our baby, our kin. The Duchess of Sussex also added in her statement. My hope is that the bench resonates with every family, no matter the makeup, as much as it does with mine. Another excerpt from the book illustrates just that point, that Megan wants to include every family, about the special bond between father and son, as told through a mother's eyes. This representation is extremely close to her heart, as she felt unwelcome in the royal family because of her race. I know how important representation is. I know how you want to see someone who looks like you in certain positions, and I could never understand how it wouldn't be seen as an added benefit. Do you think Meghan and her dad will ever make peace? She, she didn't lose me. She, she made a statement saying she lost me. She didn't lose me. I would have always been there for her. I'm, I'm there for her now if she wants me. And what do you think of her upcoming children's book?